I'm Tuffy Stone, and this is my pork smash burger. So everybody likes a smash burger, including myself. Usually it's ground beef or a combination of like ground chuck and brisket. But today I'm gonna do a uh, smash ground pork burger. It's gonna be on a toasted potato bun. I've got a slaw in there. You can use whatever slaw you want. But for me today, I made a cabbage slaw with julienne cabbage, Granny Smith apples, a little mayonnaise, a little lemon, a little salt, pepper, celery seed. For the ground pork, I've seasoned it with some garlic some caraway, some crushed red pepper, some salt. It's gonna be very savory, very robust. I've got my potato buns buttered. I've got my flat top hot. It's ready to go to it with the pork balls and smash them. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pork balls that have been seasoned. We're gonna put them on the flat top. I've got it hot. I've got some pan spray on there. I've also taken my spatula and I put a little pan spray on the backside to keep the pork from sticking to the spatula when I smash them down. Make sure you space them out so that when you go to press them, there's plenty of room. Another thing that I'm not doing today, but I'm a big fan of, is I also like to do griddled onions with my smash burgers. Uh, but today I'm just doing that apple cabbage slaw. So I've smashed my pork burgers and they're starting to smell good. I'm gonna come in with some of the same ingredients that I seasoned the ground pork with and, and just season them while they're on the flat top. I'm gonna cook them for about four or five minutes. Then I'll take a peek to see if they've got the, the browning that I'm looking for, which is gonna give you that Maillard reaction. That browning is just gonna make the flavor more complex and better to eat. So once the pork burgers have the color that you're looking for, after about four or five minutes, flip them, uh, season the second side, and then let them cook a little bit more. And then we're gonna to top them with cheese, melt the cheese. And I'm just gonna cover them with a bowl to help that cheese melt. While the cheese is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and get my potato buns, which I've buttered on both sides, put them on the flat top to toast. Cheese is melted, pork's cooked, time to come off. So the first thing that we're gonna to do to finish these pork burgers is we're gonna put some mayo and mustard on these toasted, buttered potato rolls. After that, we're gonna put the pork burgers with the melted cheese on top and top that with the cabbage apple slaw and put a lid on it. So there's a lot of smash burgers out there, but I think this one's kind of different. Ground pork, got some caraway in there. Got an interesting slaw with apple and cabbage. I think it's really good. You should give it a go.